guys welcome back to techdoz and in this video we will look at the largest combination with bitwise and greater than zero problem which is from lead code number 2275 and we will be looking at the optimal solution in this problem the bitwise and of an array nums is the bitwise and of all the integers in nums for example if i take the nums to be 153 the bitwise and is equals to 1 ended with 5 ended with 3 which will be 1 also for nums containing only a single item the bitwise end of the array will will be just that single item 7 you are given an array of positive integers candidates evaluate the bitwise end of every combination of numbers of candidates each number in candidate may only be used one time return the size of the largest combination of the candidates with the bitwise end value greater than 0 okay before looking at an example let's look at the constraint and the constraint says that we can have maximum of 10 to the power 5 items and at least one item will be present and each of the candidates value will be less than equals to 10 to the power of 7 and all of them are positive numbers now let's look at an example for better understanding in this case let's say we are given 6 4 2 7 1 our goal is to find the largest combination with bitwise and greater than 0 okay now if you look at the binary representation of all these numbers i have already written down now if you want to find out the combination with having bitwise and greater than 0 then you will notice that there should be at least one common bit position where all the bits are set for example if you take uh, two numbers let's say 6 ended with 4 then what will be the value if you look at it 6 is having 110 and 4 is having 100 so the value will be 100 right only the common set bits will be preserved and if you have at least seen a 0 it will always be 0 so in this case the answer will be 100 in base 2 which is 4 right so if you want to take a combination where uh, the and value of that combination should be greater than 0 at least there should be one common bit position where all of the items are having set bit okay now if you just want to do it in the brute force way then what you can do is you can have the option of either not selecting an item or selecting an item right because the problem already mentions that each of the items should be used exactly one time therefore it will be similar to how you have solved the knapsack problem where you can take an item or you cannot take an item right but if you go with this approach then if you have n items then the total number of combinations will be 2 to the power of n right and therefore in order to generate all possible combinations and test for which is the largest combination with bitwise and greater than zero you will have to incur order of 2 to the power n time complexity which is way out of the given range because the n value mentioned is less than equals to 10 to the power of 5 now if the n value was less than equals to 20 then this will run in one second but this is 10 to the power of 5 now you can use the dynamic programming approach as well and uh, try to uh, solve using the knapsack solutions still the time complexity will be order of n square and uh, this is again not fitting because n is less than equals to 10 to the power of 5 so this will make it 10 to the power of 10 so these are all overkill problems and this problem is extremely simple as compared to those what we need to do is uh, we need to find out a combination with at least one set bit right now according to our idea of preserving at least one set bit let's take an example and let's try to preserve the first set bit if you try to preserve first set bit then what are the items you can take so that the bitwise and will always be greater than zero now if you notice then you cannot take this six you cannot take this four you cannot take this two because all of them have zero bit here right so you cannot take them instead you can always take seven and one right so if you take seven ended with one you will end up with the first bit set and that is why this combination will be seven comma one now if you try to preserve only the let's say the second set bit then in this case you can take six you cannot take this four because this is unset bit you can take this two you can take seven but you cannot take this one because of the unset bit so how many items were you able to take three items which were six two and seven similarly if you try with the third bit then you can take six you can take four you cannot take two because of the zero bit here uh, you can take seven but you cannot take this one because of the zero bit right so you can again take six four seven which is of length three if you try to take for the fourth bit the fourth bit will be zero for everybody here right so none of the items will get included and that is why uh, this will be just an empty combination 
and for any higher bit like the fifth bit sixth bit all of them will be having zero number of uh, items so in this case if i have to uh, find out the largest combination with bitwise and greater than zero then after trying out for all possible set bits we need to keep track of the maximum combination size that we had seen so in this case the answer will be equals to three okay we are not required to return the combination but only the length of it right now how to check if a certain bit is set in order to check for the given value if the ith bit is set we need to take the value and bitwise end it with one left shifted by i times and if this value turns out to be greater than zero then the ith bit is set this is how we will be checking it right so let's see a simple dry run of counting the maximum items preserving a set bit now i will be taking a similar example again and in this case i will be finding out how many items can i include by setting the first bit this will be equals to uh, the number of items having the first set bit as one right now if you check for this six is the first set bit one no here no two no but for seven and one this bit is set so the count of how many items have their first bit as set is two so i will always try to maximize this because this is the combination size right so maximum frequency will always be compared with frequency and we will try to maximize this similarly for the position number two we have three set bits so the frequency value here will be three it will always be reassigned to zero while doing the next iteration so the maximum frequency will get updated to max of two comma three right now if you check for this bit number uh, three which has a weightage of four then you will see that there are three items which can get included so again the value will be three but then already known maximum frequency value is three so no update will happen so in this case the answer will be equals to three now if you are thinking about how many bits i have to check then in the problem it was mentioned that candidates at i is less than equals to 10 to the power of 7 so since all these are binary representation so the maximum bits required will be seal of log n base 2 so it is coming out to be 24 bits but i will just be taking 32 bits you can go for 24 as well the time complexity in this case is 32 times of n and since 32 is a constant you can take order of n and space complexity is order of one let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the candidates array i will be taking out the number of items and maintaining a max frequency initialized with zero this value i want to maximize then I will be checking for all the bits right from bit number 0 to 31 and then I will be finding the frequency of how many items are having the ith bit as set bit. So I will be iterating through all the items in the candidates array and finding out if their ith bit is set. If their ith bit is set then I will be incrementing the frequency. Once I am done uh, checking for all the items in the candidates array. I will be updating my max frequency to maximum of already known max frequency comma frequency finally we will be just returning max frequency as the largest combination size from the given candidates array so that the bitwise end is greater than zero so i hope you were able to understand it if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you